Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a look at seven cool things coming in patch 7.1 that we didn't know about until the patch notes dropped on September 14th. We've had lots of information about the big new Karazhan dungeon, but there's some surprising smaller things that are on their way too. Number 8. The Falcosaurus Invasion The coastline of the Broken Isles is under assault from an invasive, predatory species that's breeding out of control. Falcosaurus will drop eggs and feathers for the new first alien cooking recipes. You can find and raise an orphaned Falcosaur into a mount, kind of like the old Venomhide Ravasaur chain. On top of that, there's four new Falcosaur pets to collect, and four new toys to dress them up with. Number 7. Toys. There's a whole bunch of new toys from a couple of different places. Midsummer is getting a set of matches, while Love is in the Air is getting a love boat. There's a 12-string guitar from the Diablo 20th anniversary event, a blazing ember signet drops from New Karazan, a big red ray gun drops from Dr. Weevil on Alka's Isle, which is a new world quest area. The Skull of Corruption is a Demon Hunter only toy for the Nighthold. Fell Focusing Crystal is another one for Demon Hunters only. They seem to be big on contemplating things. That and sharing how much they've sacrificed. The Memory Cube comes from a quest. I'm really excited to get my hands on that one and see which pivotal moments it wants to show us. And for the cutest new toys, there's six new reusable fishing bobbers you can use. Lure a fish with a wooden pepe, a murloc head, a squeaky duck, a tugboat, a can of worms, or a, a cat head. Number 6. New Titles There's at least three new titles coming in 7.1. A mythic Helia achievement in the Trial of Valor raid will earn your name, The Chosen. Your name, Talon's Vengeance, is quite likely from the new Talon's Vengeance faction. Last, we don't know where it's from yet, but something is going to give the title Headmaster Your Name. The Harry Potter RP is going to be super real. Number 5. Nagrand Arena is getting a reskin, and it looks good. The actual geometry of everyone's favorite arena map shouldn't change, but it'll look a little less 2006. Considering that this map gets a lot of screen time during the BlizzCon tournament, it's not too surprising that they're touching up the paint job. Number 4. New Mounts On top of what you get from the Felcasaur thing, there's six shiny new mounts to collect. The Ivory Hawk Strider is off a vendor at High Mountain, and it's probably the least exciting. We've had that model since BC. The Rock Spine Basilisk isn't in the PTR Mount Journal just yet, but it's been datamined as being from the Talon's Vengeance Exalted. The Darkwater Skate is a new Darkman Fairmount, and this is almost certainly from fishing off the island. The Arcanist's Mana Saber is a quest reward at some point in Suramar. Any mages that were sore about the Rune Saber being a shot mount should be pretty pleased with this one. The Smoldering Ember Worm drops off Nightbane in the new Karazhan Dungeon, and damn does it look good! Fire Mages and Destralocks are going to be all over that. Last, my favorite is Midnight from a Tomb in the Huntsman in the new Karazhan. Look at this thing. It makes my fiery warhorse look so sad. I'm super hyped for all these new mounts, and I really appreciate that they're all available in-game instead of in the shop. Number 3. We get a new Raiding with Leashes achievement! Raiding with Leashes 4 sends you into Ulduar, Trial of the Crusader, and ICC for 16 new battle pets. I won't go all the way into all of them, but my favorite's gotta be Bone Shard. He's a little mini Marogar that drops off of Marogar, and right now on the PTR, his bottom three abilities are all Bone Storm. Whether that goes live or not, that's hilarious. Number 2. We get to fight Algalon the Observer in a pet battle. Completing the new Raiding with Leeches gives you a Celestial Invitation, which lets you fight Algalon in a new pet battle encounter. Beating him will give you Stardust, a Celestial Bunny Pet. It's not a whole tournament, but any new pet battle content is exciting. Last, number 1. The thing I'm most excited for from the 7.1 patch notes. Prestiging no longer resets honor talents. I'm gonna say it again. Prestiging no longer resets honor talents. Oh, that feels good! So, this is a pretty controversial decision. On live, once you've reached honor level 50, if you want to prestige, you have to give up all of your honor talents. In theory, what Blizzard originally thought that would mean is if you see someone with a prestige mount, you go, wow, they sacrificed everything. What have I given? In reality, at least for me, prestiging is kind of a mark that you're not serious about PvP. Casual battlegrounds and world quests are the only spaces where you can get away with not having all your abilities. Prestiging would mean that you're taking yourself out of arena and raided battlegrounds until you can grind your talents back. This change makes it into a system more like Overwatch. When you don't have to give up your talents to Prestige, Prestige becomes a marker like an Overwatch star or a Diablo Paragon level that shows you've put a lot of time into PvP on that character. Being dedicated will earn you the Prestige goodies, and you can do rated PvP at the same time. I personally think this is an excellent change, and it's made me really excited for the patch. 
I think the new prestige system is a great addition to WoW PvP over what we had in WoW, because it's an extra progression system that lets you practice and have fun with your friends while working towards mounts and pets. For me, that's what WoW is about. So those are my favorite things from the 7.1 patch notes. As always with PTR content, none of this is guaranteed to make it into the live game. That's never stopped me from getting way too excited. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!